everyone. Welcome back to my channel. This is my third message about goals. Before going to the details of my third message, let's have a recap with the two previous messages that I've shared. Just a reminder to all of you that I'm always using God's words to support my messages because I strongly believe that God is God. His word is God. In John chapter 1 verse 1 says, In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. God is mighty, strong, and powerful. His words have strength and power. God cannot be destroyed. His words cannot be destroyed. His words guide us, a light unto our path, a light unto our feet, brings healing, gives power, strength, peace that transcends beyond human understanding, brings joy, prosperity, a mirror to our soul, gives wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, guides us in decision-making, brings counsel, etc. I took the first message from the book of Proverbs chapter 29 verse 18 that says, Where there is no vision, people perish. And I paraphrase it like this, Where there are no goals, no objectives, no aims, no plans, and no dreams, people have no direction. They are lost, destroyed, miserable, broke, no going, lose life, in danger, fall into pieces, no accomplishments, and no achievements. So, setting goals is a must to keep you alive, alert, awake, enthusiastic, and kicking. For my message number two, Genesis chapter 2 verses 7 to 8 and Genesis chapter 2 verse 15 are my truth supports for the focal point of making goals. Then the Lord God formed the man from the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and the man became a living being. And he put the man in the garden of Eden. Genesis chapter 2 verse 15, we found the goal here. The Lord God took the man and put him in the garden of Eden to work it and to take care of it. See the goal here? To work it and to take care of it. I am Carla Lee, the author and founder of Better Living Every Day. This time, I want to share the two categories of goals. There are many types of goals, but I will only classify them into two categories according to time or term to make it simple, clean, and clear. I only classify the goals with a length of time to make it simple and clear. And the other reason is that each person's goals differ from each other depending on the job or occupation, location or place, environment, weather, and resources. I will use myself as an example. My goals are different from your goals because of my job or occupation, the place I live, my environment, my resources, and my culture. I classify the goals into two categories or groups. These are the short-term goals and the long-term goals. Now, short-term goals are goals that an individual will achieve or accomplish soon. In short-term goals, these are goals you want to accomplish within a minute, an hour, a week, a month, or less than a year. Here are some of the examples. Take a look at the lists that I have shared. These serve as your guide. You know what? Here is the key. Short-term goals are very powerful means of little significant progress in achieving long-term goals. Here is the second category, long-term goals. Long-term goals are goals you plan for your future within a year, over a year, or many, 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 many years. Long-term goals are accomplished over a year or years. It cannot be accomplished within a minute, within an hour, within a day, or within a month because it needs a long period of time. 
You can achieve your long-term goals by breaking them into bite-sized goals, which are attainable. Here are some of the examples. Based on my presentation, knowing that you are empowered, equipped, predestined to perform, to create. Therefore, no more complaining, no more murmuring, no more procrastinating, no more excuses. Just do it. Move by your goals. Perform your goals. For with God, all things are possible. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Philippians chapter 4 verse 13. Yes, you can do all things through Christ. Practical actions. Let's make some activity. Now, it's time to put an action to what we have learned. Are you ready to enjoy making your own short-term goals and long-term goals? Okay, do it. There's power in writing and printing. Get a pen, a paper, calendar, planner, whatever. Get your laptop computer. Proceed to your desktop computer. And set your short-term and long-term goals. Now that you have set your goals, how do you feel looking at them? What do you think about them? Are they making your life better than before? In conclusion, let me share this verse with you, which is taken from the book of Ephesians chapter 2 verse 10 that says, For we are God's masterpiece, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. God has prepared us in advance to do good works in Christ Jesus. Let's ponder upon this verse as we spend our lives moment by moment doing God's will to make our lives better. Better living every day. Thank you for listening. Till next time.